Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to my video on how to start DJing right now. In today's video, we will be taking a look at a handful of options that you can do to start DJing right now on your laptop with no prior experience. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go on Amazon, buy $6,600 worth of professional DJ gear, wait two days for prime shipping, try it out for an hour, decide you don't like it, and let it collect dust in your closet for the rest of your life while you try to pay off your now thousands of dollars worth of credit card debt. Obviously, I'm kidding. So let's look into some actual ways you can get started right now. The first thing we're going to look at is what device you plan on DJing with. Right now, for beginners, I would recommend using devices you already have. As for any new activity you try out, you don't want to blow unnecessary money. So we'll start with a laptop in this video, and we'll take a look at the phone and tablet option in my next video. So the big decision to choose for laptops is which software you're going to use. For people just starting out, I would have to recommend either using Virtual DJ, DJ Pro, or Mix. So first I'm going to talk about Virtual DJ. Virtual DJ is free for anyone until you want to plug in a DJ controller. And it's a great way to learn the basic setup of any DJ software. You can mess with the crossfader, which is right here, which gets from one track to another track. You can mess with the effects, which are right here. Adjusting the BPM, which is with this tempo slider right here. And that gets us back to normal. Seeing what sync does, so if I click this right here and then hit the sync button over here, this BPM will sync up to this BPM, as well as organizing your music, which is all done down on this part of the screen. This software is actually the software that I started to learn how to DJ on, and it was a great introduction to DJing for me. The next software I'm going to look at is DJ Pro 2. And if you don't have a Mac, uh, you can just use the regular DJ Pro, uh, which is for Windows. But if you do have a Mac, DJ Pro 2 is the latest edition, and I personally love it. I still use it at gigs today. Um, it's $50 in the App Store, or uh, I don't really know how you buy it on Windows, to be honest, but it's $50 no matter what. Uh, but there is a 15-day free trial period. This is a great software, uh, like all of the features you could do in Virtual DJ, like the crossfader, the effects, the um, tempo fader, and there is a sync button right here. Well, these are already at the same tempo, so let's say I sync this up. There we go. So there's all the basic DJ features in this software, but the differentiator for DJ Pro 2 is Spotify integration. This software allows you to DJ with songs that um, you can download from Spotify. So right now, in this part of the, my library, we see all of these Spotify songs. And, if, and these are just uh, my songs that I've made that I put in a Spotify playlist. But any song you want, you can search for. So if, let's say you want to search for a song by Marshmallow. You can type in Marshmallow, and then a whole lot of Marshmallow songs will show up that you can pull up and load on one of the decks. In 2019, the time that this video was made, less and less people are buying music, and more and more people are streaming it. And DJ Pro 2 allows you to treat these Spotify songs just like any song that you own or any MP3 that you own in your library. So just as a quick um, thing to show, I can add cue points if you see... I have these little arrows here in my in my track, which are cue points, and um, this is a Spotify song, but I can have all this information. I can change the BPM. I can filter the songs. I can do all sorts of stuff. So once again, this is a great way to learn um, how to DJ using songs that you probably want to listen to anyway, because most songs that people listen to are on Spotify. The one thing you need to note is that you do need a Spotify premium membership in order to use the Spotify function from this software. 
Now, you can also use tracks that you own, like your iTunes tracks or any sort of MP3s or other audio files that are compatible with the software. So anyway, this is a great way to get started. Mix is another free software that seems to be decently popular in the community. I've never used it before, but it's I'm assuming it's similar to Virtual DJ, uh, which means it's free. And if we look on the website right here, we can there are DJ controllers that it supports, uh, effects. You can end up working with vinyl if you want, and all sorts of simple, basic DJ software features. So um, that's another option if you wanted to. When it comes to actually using these DJ softwares, you are going to need some music to use. You can still buy your music, but if you are just trying to start off for as cheap as possible, there are tons of songs you can download for free on SoundCloud. Just go to soundcloud.com and search free download. Um, I've done that here, and you can see there's all sorts of songs that you can download. You might have to click into these links, and they might make you follow the artist or follow the record label or whatever, but it's pretty simple, and then you can get all sorts of music for free. If you want to get a little bit more specific, you can kind of go into the genre. So if I say uh, dubstep, free download, there's all sorts of dubstep songs, and there's and you can get a little bit more narrow in on your search if you're trying to look for um, music that you want to play for free. Now, if you go to my SoundCloud page, you've got all sorts of free downloads that you can um, do for any of my tracks. And that's really all the music that you'd ever need for any set that you ever do. Just kidding. Now I'm going to talk about what my recommended method would be. So if you're someone who's younger and may not have a whole lot of music, but you have a Spotify premium account, you should definitely try out DJ Pro 2. The ability to access every song on Spotify's library is something that DJs of all skill levels love. You can also DJ with the music that you want with all sorts of features, including DJ Pro 2's Automix AI, which is a very powerful Automix feature that a lot of people like in that software. So that's my recommenda recommendation for maybe someone who's younger who is using Spotify as a streaming service or is maybe using another streaming service but um, might want to switch to Spotify for this reason. Now, if you don't have a Spotify account or another streaming service... Um, and you might have a bigger music collection, I would recommend that you start with Virtual DJ. It's free, and there's no cost for you. And it is a powerful software that with lots of features. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the way that I started, and I love DJing. I've been DJing for about four years now, and it was a great way for me to start. Once you get a little bit more serious into your DJing, you're going to want a way to listen to your audio in your headphones before it plays on the main output. Um, and this is called queuing up your track. And we're going to talk about that in a future video and how to do that. And also, you're probably going to eventually want to get some sort of DJ controller. And we'll discuss that in a future video as well. But other than that, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, sound design tutorials, and DJ tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. <laughs>